Africa down there as her team Amoria tries to continue the form they came out with from that group C that they boast and dominated beating up on Vision and St. Peter's and of course they know that this is the game that they must win to ensure that uh, people don't say that they were one punch wonders during the group stages of this football that is brought you comfortably in, the living, in your living rooms uh, on Uganda Broadcasting Corporation TV and please follow us on our various social media platforms uh, that is our uh, YouTube and, uh, and, uh, and Facebook we are right there for you those are the subs on your screen in case any coach needs to pick up on anyone they'll have to look at those to ensure that they get the result. The match official Aisha Chiza and of course the commentator is Peter Otai. See you at half time. Welcoming you to the first game of the night here tonight as we bring you Amuria up against Wakiso Hills. It's a game that will be going any side here today. Just waiting to see how far we can actually pan up. Amoria will try very much to pick up everything to qualify for the semi-final. Just like the way we have actually seen the others qualify. Early kickoff game here in uh, Njeru. I'm hoping that we shall be able to finish up this game perfectly how it began couple of uh, weeks ago and, uh, final moments and final say coming up from the center referee Amurio up against Wakiso Hill it's a battle of the schools today and hopefully maybe at the end of everything the schools will be walking out victorious with their heads high after giving us a very, very good show in this year's edition of the Airlight League. We shall be having the game getting underway. The referee does get us underway here tonight. It is uh, Amuria up against Wakiso Hills. I'd like to thank you very much for spending your time with us this very morning here. It's a clash that can actually go anywhere. As both sides will try very much to see if they can qualify for the semi final. Slowly by slowly, lots to play for here. of the game just going straight to Wakiso and will be brought in very quickly Wakiso here beginning to problem with uh, some bit of injuries uh, that they have been picking up a few areas but it's a long ball away Amuria trying to get that ball in very quickly uh, they continue to pan and drive up now here comes Rehema. 
There's a ball back behind perfectly. Long ball into the D. Easily swept away. And finally, Wakiso can't get that ball from the danger. Now here they come. Namatovu. One pass away looking for Namudu Faith. Namudu. Long ball up front. What's a fight through the ball here? This is uh, Sylvia. Long pass. Straight up to the goalkeeper. Very good goalkeeping there from uh, Adio. Well, she's been uh, the lady that has been looked out for here for the Muria side as they continue to get more pressure, Raif. Just again here, yeah, but drifted away. Well, trying to do a throw in here to Amuria. Well, that is uh, Tom, the coach of uh, Amuria. will try very much if he can get the ladies into the semi finals and maybe something else. Driving and driving, panning and panning. Pressure up into the midfield here as Amuria will be driving up now. Kongai collected coming into the far side. Finally, they get themselves another throw in here. Oh, lack of concentration. Ball just goes away for a throw in. the coach of uh, Wakiso Hills, Swale Kamia. Going in charge of this man, making sure that uh, everything pans up perfectly well here for the Wakiso Hills side. Pressure the midfield. This is chance away. Now you got driving forward, drifted away there perfectly by Nasongo. Well, oh, that ball just not going away from the middle, totally not going away from the middle. It's uh, a game that is full of uh, compaction at the midfield. Tivasima trying to look for Nami Nami Wanda Sylvia, but now put it away perfectly there by Amuria and the chess is on driving up driving up but nowhere to go Aringo Rukia way by Namudu Amuria looking very much organized right now as they continue to venture forward clearance away by Faith Namudu and that's going to be a throw in here to Amuria High Keeper receiving that ball perfectly. Aikoru. Aikoru. Taking that ball perfectly. Away there by Biragua. Very good time. You have to admit there by Sylvia. Let me wonder. Long ball forward by Tibasima. Collected perfectly there. And long away by Sylvia. Try to boot it back here. Nice flick back. When you look at the entire system that uh, the Amuria side is using, currently very, very confusing. But uh, hopefully the ladies can actually understand the system that Tom has put in place. It's more of like a 3-1, 3-3, three, 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 surprisingly. 
Now there's three players at the back, Akui Barbara, Olio Silvia, and Yakun Paulin. Then the center player, Atilong Josephine, playing right above Akurut, Nasongo, Kongai, looking for the goals, Aringo, Akurut, and Akelo. Amoria not having the inspirational scorer, Akole Manuela, not starting the game today. Throw brought in here by Pirabwa Justin. Away by Namale. That goes away with another throw in. Basically, Wakiso using a 4 3 3 here. I'd like to see if they can get more bodies forward. Pirabwa. Collected calmly by Kibasima. Namatovu. Looking for Sylvia Namiwanda. That was going to be going out for Kuna now to. Wakiso Hills. Throw to, sorry, corner. Justin Birawa with a long one into the D. It's brushed away, but not very aware. There's a chance here. But the ball is just way over the bar. They have a goal kick. So trying to ask Amori a few questions, courtesy of Nanyonjo Jerida. Ball forward, brush back, and collected there by Tilong. Chance again here. Lord driven shot could have been a deflection in, but uh, goes out for corner. Josephine Atilong coming to the rescue here of. Uh, and trust me, it's not very easy to look out for. As the captain, Akurut Irene, also doing her work here. Corner. Yes, the corner brought through. And back into the zone to the goalkeeper, Dio. Dio beginning this uh, quarterfinal match. He come in as a substitute in the previous match over the... The group stages actually did start as a starter. Yes, chance strike to the keeper, Ikoru. And it's a chance. Good corner brought in by Pirabwa. And that ball just went away to the goalkeeper, Dio Stella. Can actually play forward and can play as a defender. Flag remains down, but flag now goes up. Nanyonjo Jerida is offside. Or well, that goal won't count. Be very very worried about the play from uh, Wakiso Hills, a very young squad, squad rather. And very good at what they do. And they'll be looking to make uh, Amuria pay. Amuria actually qualifying to the quarterfinals with a good record. Referee has awarded a free kick to Amuria. A lady by the names of uh, Ringo Ruki actually fouled. A bit of concern for the coach of Wakiso. Nasongo Grace shall be the one to deliver this ball here for Muria in a good territory. Nasongo. A couple of yards away. You can actually see from here. And she'll be going for goal, Nasongo. She does go for this. It's dropping. It goes out. Well, actually, goes outside. Could have been confused for a goal there, but uh, good try there from Nasongo. Four goals, one M. A hat trick already. Scored in uh, this competition, but good ball through from Nasongo. Very good ball in. You can see it was dropping. Slightly over the goalkeeper Aikeru. Got that already covered. And down by Nasongo. Cleared away there by Aringo. Collected by Naika. Possessed again here perfectly. The fight continues slowly by slowly. 
Moria continue to drive up and look for the answers for this. Stolen away there by Namale. We're now to nobody in particular. And the throw shall be brought in by Anyakun Paulin. Looking to go slightly long with this. And the referee has awarded a foul. It's going to be a free kick here. And the captain, Akurut Iron, will be selling this one long. Flicked on here by Rehema. Well, up front they go. Chances coming in for Muria. Could that go away for a corner? No, it's a handball. Namudu Faith away and trying to pick up the Matovu. Actually, it's a Sylvia Namiwanda. That goes away for throwing out to Akiso. Namiwanda doing everything in her power to make sure that she gets something good for her side here, Wakiso. Long ball forward and collected. Amoria will try to drop now at the center. Easily stolen away by Nagawa. Oh, the goalkeeper Adio coming out very quickly to receive that. And I think she's actually picked up an injury, Adio. Some slight collision with uh, Nami Wanda. And he actually had uh, that same problem of the knee in a previous game and looks like it's uh, reoccurring. But you can see the collision over there. Namiwanda going a little bit stronger. And there, that's the collision. Well, time for Pam to give some bit of instructions to his players. Aringo Rukia together with uh, Nasongo receiving that and also the other side the goalkeeper having a talk with the hard defenders and captain Aikeru with uh, Nagawa all discussing and the current captain Namirimu just the number 17 there also having a little bit of a slight discussion oh, Zadio will continue to some bit of a check up on that knee which has been uh, disturbing off a very very long time
a little bit of concern there for the goalkeeper. She she is taking a lot of time getting that medical attention. And if you look at the bench of uh, Amuria, well, they also still have uh, issues in human resource. Just only about uh, four players to pick up from. There is Among Irene, Akiting, Irene, Angum Mary, and Akelo Brenda. Now, those are the only footballers that uh, Amuria do have on their bench. It's the only one they can actually utilize if they can maybe do a little bit of a substitution, Amoria. Well, they do have a substitute goalkeeper among Gloria on the bench. That one can actually come in and uh, sort out anything that actually fails to continue. But also she was complaining of some injuries. And Shima Runs will be up against the Ajax Queens. That's going to be a beauty of a game there. It's more of a final before the final. Shima Runs and the Ajax Queens. Well, the fight for the ball continues. Ball driven away there. Perfect play from Namudu Faith. Dropping that ball forward. It's called for the offside. Sylvia was offside. Namira, Namiwanda. Good arms from Aikeru. Keeping that ball for herself. Beginning it to Justin Birabwa. Justin utilizing her space perfectly well there. And now stolen away here by Amoria. Just can't keep the ball on play. They repossess it perfectly now. Akelo Catherine. Loses that ball through to Nanyonjo. Repossessed here at the midfield and swept away perfect by Naiga. And Tibasima. Well, he's offside according to the referee, so that will be a free kick now to Amoria. Just 19 minutes already played of this game. 19 minutes played. My Koru taking her time to hold on to this ball. Chance away now. Nasongo. Long ball forward. On the side, chance for Muria to deliver, but. Uh, Lack of concentration there from uh, Kelo Catherine. Long ball away. Chess for Catherine Akello. Keeps the ball on play. Catherine inside the D. They are. Here comes a Kurut. And that's going to be a corner. Yeah. A Kurut Rehema. Three goals, one M in the competition. And she's missing the services of uh, a call, Emanuela. But let's wait and see what comes in from this corner. To be brought in by Nasongo. Corner for Nasongo. Everybody seems to be inside now. Nasongo delivers one, it's flipped away.
Rabrakui. Away by number two. Captain play here by a move. Famuria Aqui Barbara collected well a ringo reaction Jesse we throw in here to Akiso Hills now and Justin Birabwa will be the one to deliver this ball long Justin a ringo Catherine uh, throw in here again to Wakiso. Justin Birabaj will be the one to deliver this a long throw there. And still in away at the midfield. But a good clearance from Nama Tubusara. But can still work anyways. Atilong. Remakuru trying to do the chessing. And uh, Farida doing very well there. Well, I've actually seen a lot of defensive display coming in from Amuria today compared to how they have uh, gone through the other three matches of the group stages. Faith Namudu on the brush through and 
unfortunately just goes away for a throw in here to Amoria. And the pulling, and yeah, Kun will the throw. Looks like the referee wants a word with Katharina Kello. Paul Inanyakun has one goal in this competition. It goes slightly long into the path there of uh, Akurut. Away by Namatovu Sanra. Kept on play. This is Akurut Rehema just failing to keep the ball on play. Namira Farida shall be the one to deliver this one long. Namirimu rushed away. Headed down by Akui. Away by Akurut. Another one past you. Looking for Rehma Akurut. Swept away gallantly by Farida Namirimu. This is Namatovu. Looking for Sylvia. That's a very good run into the D. And defended gallantly there by Sylvia Olio. Sunda doing well, trying to crop that ball through Namiwanda. But the ball booted slightly behind to Namudu with a sweeping long ball inside there. Straight to the arms of Adio. Well, not good there from the goalkeeper. Not exactly why she was in a hurry to throw that ball through. But uh, it's uh, Birabwa Justin now to deliver. Justin, collected family by Nasongo. Tovu. Amale. Namatovu again, trying to deliver this. Namatovu Sara now up against the captain on the other side, Akurut Irene. And Apollin doing very well to squeeze there. And the referee was a free kick. And Wanda Silva just failing to get hold of that ball. She was offside according to the liner here. Way by Alio. Or Leo rather. And uh, Wakiso just failing to keep hold of this ball. If you look at Wakiso, they picked up a 0 0 draw against Lango Queens. Beaten by. Shimaroons by two goals to one, then they beat that the Ecos Women Football Club by 3 0 to qualify for this round. Very lucky, by the way, that final win was the one that guaranteed them a place in the quarterfinals. That win against uh, Ecos. Possess this is number two Vusara.
More fighting spirit here from Amoria. Are they still possession? Good play from Akuru Trahema. Nasongo here. Ball by Akurut. It's away by Namirimu. Amoju. Now repossess here by Naiga. Throw here to Wakiso. Well, the captain Irene Akurut is almost everywhere. And uh, it looks like there will be a substitution. Let's confirm on that. Some bit of uh, confusion going on on who is getting out. But it's Wakiso. Sorry. It's Akiten coming in for Akelo. It's not the first time that we're seeing Akelo being substituted. Well, Akelo can never actually reach the 45th minute. She will always be used for a small time and then be substituted. Nice play from Akurut. Ringo. Poor pass it was. Straight to Aikoru. Zulaika. For pressure coming up now. Good play there from Aringo. Now this is the new entrant, Akiteng. Try to beat one Akiteng, trying to call that ball through. This goes out for a goal kick, but again, a very good game. It's the first chance that we have so far seen in this match. Jelaida Nagawa currently having some bit of issues of injury there. Not comfortable with her walk. Away by Namirimu Farida, the captain. Trying to brush. Namirimu doing very well. A bit of collision there between the two players. Well, to reach here, by the way, Amuria had to go through penalties to actually reach where we are here. Birabwa. Kurut. Kawala trying to hold on to that ball, but it's going to be a throw now to Wakiso. Justin Birabwa to throw this ball forward. And I just failed to control that ball. Especially Tibasima Catherine, one of the versatile footballers there for Wakiso. She's always been relied upon, but uh, nothing coming her way. It uh, was a good throw in from Justin Birabwa, number seven. Adio. Flicked away by a ringo. Nasongo goes down in a good area. Well, Nasongo, was that Nasongo rather? It was actually Akiteng, not Nasongo. And it's Nasongo standing on this ball, Akiteng going down. There will be a yellow card according to the referee here. It could be trouble here for Nagawa. Well, this is a good territory for a goal. We've actually seen goals scored from such distance. And hopefully we can actually get one here. Unyaru Guru scored from such a distance yesterday. And can these ladies also score? Now, Song was very good at free kick taking. 
for a kick. 37 minutes of the game played here. He's waiting for the referee to do blow the whistle. Nasongo calls this straight to the goalkeeper. There was a fumble there for the ball, but uh, Aiko Ruzulaika doing some great goalkeeping right now. Could have taken up a knock in there. Very, very good goalkeeping there from uh, Aikoru. It was a good shot. She did spill the ball, but went and fell on that and actually took a kick to the face. Well, that kick came from uh, Akiteng. Confirmation of Achiloka Nagawa Jalida did receive that one for the side that comes all the way from Masaka Road. Maya, to be precise, is where Wakiso Hills comes from there. From Maya. And has a very big fan base, the team all the way from Maya. But this is the bench of uh, Amuria High School. Aikoru's Laika still receiving that medical attention. Well, everybody goes for the water break here. As Opam continues to give some bit of instructions to the side. Get something from this game, qualify for the semi. These are some of the highlights over the chances that came begging through. Well, she seems to be okay. You could... Well, it's a battle of the schools, by the way. Amuria High School and Wakiso Hills. Senior Secondary School women's team. So basically, it's a schools affair here. One from Wakiso, one from Amoria. Naiga loses that ball through to Sylvia Namiwanda. This is Nanyonjo with the delivery straight to Adio. They're very comfortable with their goalkeeping skills, Adio. Nothing disturbing her for now. Away by Namudu. Throw into Amuria. Three minutes of no more time before the break here. I believe with the injuries that actually we are seeing with this. Goalkeeper Ikoru down. Goalkeeper Dio still are down at one time. Could be having about uh, three minutes of added time. Oh, a free kick now to Wakiso. On that foul was uh, Namudu Faith actually being sandwiched there. So it will be a free kick. Away by the captain accurate. 
Bouncing ball forward could be a chance for Wakiso. But uh, there was no way that uh, Tibasima Catherine could actually get a ball in. And goalkeeper Dio Stella with the one to deliver this ball forward here. Dio. Bouncing ball deep down. Jirida Nanyonjo. Namatu Vusara fighting her way through. Try to nick that ball up and she gets a free kick. Well, that was uh, the earlier foul coming in from Martha Kongai. It's a big ball forward, goalkeeper coming out of a line. A deal still up. He's on the attack. Namatovu. Adio falling on that well. Good goalkeeping there from Adio. Well, Swale not very happy with the way things are going on here. It's still a very much open game. Anything can still happen. Adio. The legs of Kongai. Now looking for possession, swept away. A ring of three minutes have been added here. Like I said before, Akurut. A ring of Rukia. Accepted perfectly there by Kawala Stella. And Tibasima handles that ball. Stella, deep down, there's a chest ball here. And very good backtracking from Sylvia. Doing extremely very well to come back and defend. Olio Sylvia with the defense. Throw coming up now. Justin. The Kurut inside the box now. Akiteng. Good save from the goalkeeper there, Ikoru. It's for pressure. Follow. Atilong. Tries to do the way through, but uh, ball goes for throwing out to Akiso. Just two minutes and 40 seconds of the game played here. Uh, this game is still very much alive. Anything can still come from here. Will be a throw. Brought in very quickly. Swept away. It's a final big ball away. And there you go. The referee does blow the first 45 minutes to an end. It's been a fair game between Amuria and uh, Wakiso there.
game still looks 0-0 zero, zero. there's a lot to play for more 45 minutes coming up in just a bit do we expect maybe a change in strategy from both coaches Swale and of course Opam if they can get something from uh, the game today but if it remains like this then the game will surely go into a penalty shootout a little later but for now it is a Muria 0 Wakiso 0 we go for the break and come back later It's no secret that ICT makes learning easy. The strides made in our field couldn't be possible without it. And now we can watch our favorite show. Ah, my radio is my best friend. UCC provides an enabling regulatory environment and policy guidance for healthy competition. We also facilitate ease of doing business in the communications sector through licensing, standardization, spectrum management, tariff regulation, rural communication development and consumer empowerment. An informed consumer is an empowered consumer. UCC supports local content and innovations. Driving the development of a robust communication sector in Uganda is Uganda Communications Commission. We've cut and reduced our MTN Momo withdrawal rates. Now you can withdraw mobile money at the lowest rates. You also get MTN Central Points when you deposit, send and withdraw MTN mobile money. Visit our Momo agents countrywide and withdraw mobile money at our reduced rates from 1st May 2021. Everywhere you go, MTN. What do you take it out? Kasera kakana yuchani, mchisawe chumpira, kalimu vao mpiteo. Kakasa meme. Nobu wangu zibwebi afayo. Sensational hit! Chonechi bao, ngaba wakizi. Martial. Tuimi dina wamu ne timu za fe. Kaku still, he's in Lukaku, and he smashes it in. Kutusi za bila kumko melelo. Jino je mpira jote kedo kulaba. We kumile kugo TV. Uwe mpira jaka malirizo. E jita banga umbi afayo vyo mpira. Go TV. Love it. This is Auntie Jovita. Your friend, your mentor, and your mother. Someone who wishes you so well. I am here to talk about a very sensitive topic. And this is teenage pregnancy. Teenage pregnancy is bad. Don't get involved in it. Because it affects you. It will affect your relationship with your friends. It will affect your relationship with your siblings. It will affect your relationship with your family, the community, the school. You know, it will affect almost everything around you. Today, we've had issues of girls getting pregnant. Do you know how bad that is to you? Do you know how it is going to affect your education? Do you know how it's going to affect your life? Do you know how it can affect your health the rest of your life? Because your body is not yet ready to have a pregnancy, to carry a baby, and here you are. So many complications, and there's always a financial constraint in it. Because someone has to take care of you, someone has to make sure that you, you are getting all the support you need, which you could have done when you get pregnant, when you're mature, and you have your job, and you have someone responsible you can put up there and say, please, this is who he is, and we can work on it and look after our baby. But here, you are living on your family, which is not good. Stay safe and avoid teenage pregnancy. IFRIS offers a 360-degree view of a person's business with services such as digital bookkeeping and tracking of business transactions. Uganda Revenue Authority. 
Developing Uganda Together. High school against our Kiso Hills Senior Secondary School Women Football Club. It's a still score less down there. It's a quarter final. Good morning, Ugandans, from wherever you may be watching us from either direct on TV or our various social media platforms, especially YouTube and Facebook. It's the FIFA Women Elite League. It's the second tier of women's football in Uganda. We are at the quarterfinal stage. We are witnessing the third game of the quarterfinals. The first quarterfinal was won by Bunyaruguru over a Kings of Kings from Fort Porto. 2-0. Nora Alupo abracing that secured uh, that result for Nyaruguru. That will in the semi-finals play arenas that are needed penalties. Their goalkeeper Elsie Najemba are saving from Victoria Namakula to ensure her team is through 5-4 after extra, after normal time had ended scoreless. Now that game on your TV still scoreless down at Njeru. The team in blue is uh, Wakiso Hills Senior Secondary School. Of course, the team in white is Amuria. Nothing much to separate these two teams in the first half. If you just have chances, the goalkeepers came into play a deal for Amuria and, of course, Azulaika Aikoru for Wakiso Hills. But, of course, this game missing uh, key players for Amuria, without a doubt, that girl, Emmanuel Akoel, she's on the bench, but I'm told she's suffering from some injury. Otherwise, she's meant to be on there, and she's the one that ensures that this team fires on all cylinders. She's on four goals coming into this quarterfinals, and of course, she's dearly missed. Na Nasongo Grace, uh, the other girl, in that Amoria team uh, who is scoring a couple of goals isn't getting enough support from her other uh, teammates and I think she misses uh, my colleague Emmanuel Akowell who I'm certain coach Tom Opam may call on irrespective of injury or not because we've seen it at uh, this uh, women's football especially in the Super League version of it in the final especially when uh, Fazila Equaport came off the bench scored a goal and went back on the bench she injured herself but of course she had a great great tournament ensuring her team qualifies as number one and will represent Uganda later at what I'm, I'll talk about in a minute but this particular game needs some lighting up Wakiso Hills missing their captain, Farida Nanyonjo Farida. She's uh, accumulated two yellow cards and of course another star player in there, uh, Stella Nanyanzi, also not in this particular game. And if you think that uh, you miss players that big, then of course Wakiso in their captain. That lady is uh, badly missed and I think she's watching from the bench and uh, telling herself, oh my goodness, why did I pick up a second bookable fence? Because this game is there for, there's for the taking, especially because that girl I've told you about on the Amuria side, Emanuela. Akoela is not fully fit to start this but on the bench and she may come on anytime and whenever she does come on to play she will change the entire context of this game because as far as I've been told uh, right from uh, the technical center in general by guys that are resourceful to federal media media personnel uh, Akoel was uh, the talking point in the dressing room at uh, at uh, at Wakiso Hills. Her missing this game, uh, first half especially because of injury and on the bench, changed a lot in terms of the mindset of the players. So in case she comes on second half and uh, Wakiso is a little tiring, then be sure uh, lots of things will come into play because the coach then, Suwale Kamiya, will have to change his tactics because originally they had planned a man to be there to tight mark Emmanuel Okayel because like I told you at the start, she has that middle touch, whatever she called. I remind you, Ghanaans, sport is what we promised and now we are at the FUFA Women Elite League. Uh, two teams already through to the, to the semi-finals. King against Dynamic Senior Secondary School, Jesus. And now these two teams must try to ensure they get a result. There have been such incidents in this game. A few of them, the goalkeepers have come into play, but not because they had to make very many saves, but because they have been coming together that have caused a little of our uh, stoppages in play but this game needs life and uh, if 
Emmanuel Akoye Lam Sajen comes on, then we shall have some life in this game. But of course, for 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 for. For, for, for Kiso Hills, they'll have to work a little harder. They were a team that qualified to these quarterfinals with the least points. They came into this on four points and all other teams at least had six points. So it's all to play for, for them and they may be grateful for getting into this at this stage. Still a locked 0-0 zero, zero because against uh, Amuria, every one of us that saw Amuria come out of that Group C that had uh, Ajax Queens, that had uh, Vision, that had St. Peter's. They were playing immaculate football, scoring 12, conceding only three, and coming into a semi a quarter final, blazing on all cylinders. You think that uh, they must be the team to beat, but credit to Wakiso, they're playing out their hearts out, and uh, you think that if it remains the way it is, a simple mistake, a simple mistake from this can decide uh, this particular game. But we still have 45 minutes to play for and during that time we shall get to know whether any of these teams has a right to qualify to go into the semi-finals semi-finals of which they will play another big team because the second the final quarter final that comes up at midday east african standard time is between shimaroons and ajax queens those two teams ring a bell in any mind of any ugandan if you've been following your sport the way many of us have actually been uh, Amuria, like uh, Sh Shimaroons, qualified out of the group on, uh, on nine points. Clean Bill, uh, that has conceded only two goals and has got a skip two clean sheets. They beat up on Ehikos to qualify on the final match day. But all that, when it comes to knockout football, is thrown out of the window. It's what you bring on the table on the day that determines whether you qualify or not. A reminder to Ugandans, sport is what we promised you and I think we are delivering it every angle. But of course, women's football has dominated this. We started off with the FIFA Women's Super League, and now we are at the Elite League. The Elite League, uh, despite that Elite in it, I keep telling Ugandans, when you hear Elite, you may think it's the biggest of them, but it's not the biggest of them. It's the second tier of Ugandan women's football. We are there, and we hope that co action continues to excite in the second half like it has done for us here. And I'm certain you guys watching at home, or wherever you may be, are enjoying it. Let's go back at the FUFA Technical Center where the second half will return in a while but the teams are yet to walk off uh, to walk onto the turf again I keep telling you that we have uh, we've got we've, this is the third, third quarter final we had the first quarter final um, uh, Bunya Ruguru beating up on, on, on Kings of Kings that was a, a western derby uh, one because of Nora Lupo is at two goals either side of the half 41st minute and 64th then the second quarter final was between Rines. Rines is a team that comes from Wakiso district and is much renowned She's, it's been there done that and they're playing for emotions this spiritual edition because they lost one of their top directors down there and I'm certain the girls at Rines would like to do it for their fallen manager or fallen director and uh, they beat up on a on dynamic a senior secondary school just yesterday in penalties else in a gym by their goalkeeper saving from victoria namakula uh, to ensure they qualify out of that going to the semi-finals and uh, boost their chances of representing in the fufa women's super league because it's as simple as this when you go into the semi-finals win that going to the final you are assured of playing a uh, top league football next season because the top two teams will qualify to play in the FUFA Women's Super League that was won comfortably by uh, Lady Doves being up on Uganda Christian University Lady Cardinals. A repeat of the final in 2019 when you see you won Lady Doves coming out trumps. Courtesy of that lady, Fazila Ekwaput, who I'm told is uh, firing on all cylinders and ready to represent her team at major tournaments. The girls women's football in Uganda is up and running for various and many reasons. Of course we all know the girls under 17 are preparing to contest a World Cup qualifier and the World Cup finals will be in India. Save for COVID-19, the girls were up and running and uh, they were on the verge of qualifying for that. But COVID-19 ravaged the world and we've got nothing about it. We start afresh next year when they go for qualifiers. So many of these girls playing down at the technical center hope that the technical team looks at them and chooses them, selects them to be a part of that team that will represent Uganda at that level. Of course, the under-20 girls will play a World Cup qualifier as well. This one will be in uh, Costa Rica. The finals of the World Cup will be go down there. Many of these girls, high school students, have a big chance of being part of that team. And of course, the women senior team will play at AFCON uh, Morocco, a women AFCON in Morocco. Let me cross you over to Pito Tai for the second half of action. Hopefully by then, we come back again. We shall be going to the next game because if it remains 0-0, zero, zero, we're going to penalties straight. Pito Tai takes it on.
Second half underway and uh, game continues to probe up here. Began very quickly. Continue to fight and uh, ball just goes away for throwing now. Brought in by Pauline Anyakun. Pauline. So we're there by Namatovu. So piling the pressure. Long ball forward. Looking for the options if they can't get any anyway. It's a dropping ball through, but straight to Adio. Here to Arena Kurut fighting the pressure. Kurut trying to lay that ball through, intercepted yet again by Faith Namudu. It's away by Tilong Josephine. Namudu Faith. Away by Farida Namirimu. As the pressure keeps on piling up here, the Wakiso ladies or oh, the Wakiso Hills Secondary School are trying to well, redeem something from this match and see if they can get something moving on here. Namatovu. For Amuria. Aqui. No chances driving, and chances going. Finally booted away. Weather changing right now in Anjero. But uh, game will continue. Long ball forward now. The chess is for Sylviana Miwanda. Tries to do very much, but uh, wins herself a corner. Short corner began. A very good turning here. Good ball there, it was. It was Naiga trying very much get something onside they are flag remains down great chance for the short here they are taking their time they deliver this time round a chance for the header but from close range finally the flag goes up for the offside Chibasima Catherine just failing to utilize that opportunity of scoring a goal here for Wakiso as Amoria do have a football on the ground injured I've taken a knock in the process. <laughs> Freaky Kia to Amoria. So Jilong continues to 
recover from that slight knock and another free kick at the center of the pitch. Long ball from Nassono. They run through now. Here they come. One pass into the path of uh, Aringo. Intercepted yet again here, but not very far. There's a chance here, but Oban Bar wasted. Kuru Trema had all the chances to notch that ball inside, but she went for power. Well, this is uh, one of the best chances you can get. Look at this. More of like a penalty. It was actually Nasono, if I'm not mistaken. What a West. Sylvia Namiwanda. Well defended very well there by Sylvia Olio. It's the battle of the Silvers there. Ted Kambli swept away. Aringo Rukia with a pass now. Long ball for this is very good, but uh, this goes as far as Aikoru Zlaika. Well, that's very good football. Good interchanging football here from Wakiso. Faith Namudu flag is up for the offside. Cool, but uh, well, they seem to have moved very well, Namudu. She shot ball here and away they continue pressing it. Good shot. That won't be a problem for the goalkeeper Ikoro. Let me wonder. Akurut. Very, very risky ball there. And uh, Namato Vusara is feeling the aftermath of that knock. Of the ball. Akurut. Controlled well by Ikoru Zulaika. Long ball forward. Here comes the run through Tibasima. Willing to keep the ball in play, Tibasima. Surely that will be a throw in now to. Okay, so you can actually see that the weather down in Ginger is totally changing, becoming foggy, foggy like. Golf a foul, but not awarded. Okay, so have a play on the ground. Referee has to go for the safety whistle there. Try and assess the situation surrounding the footballer that has actually gone down very easily. And I hope it's not uh, Tibasima. But uh, Tibasima is okay. She's there walking her way through. Player holding her neck. Could have taken a knock to the neck there. 
Mtswale, the coach of uh, Wakiso. Try to pray very much that uh, he actually qualifies for the semi finals. Uh, so Pam, the coach of uh, uh, Moria Upam, Ayukoru, having a word with her defender Nagawa Chalida. It's really very good to see ladies being involved in uh, the game of football. And uh, like we say always, uh, the game is actually growing very much when it comes down to women football. And purely dominated by the school's events. And of course, it's uh, Amoria High School up here against uh, Wakiso Hills uh, Secondary School. The women Elite League, as uh, the teams are fighting very much to qualify for the Super League, which was actually won by the Lady Dubs team from Masindi. Away by Olio Sylvia. The clearance from Farida. But not very far. Uh, Pauline Anyakun will allow it to go out for a throw in. Well, this was uh, the incident that resulted into something. Oof. That was the foul. I don't think if she meant it, but sometimes you can be punished for that. Farid along. Collected calmly here. Nasono. Trying to flick that ball through Nasono. Oh, that could be a foul in a good territory. Uh, clever play. Very clever play from Nasono. But unfortunately, Rahema Kurut goes to the ground. Well, picks up that slight knock there, Kurut. So we're we'll freaking now to Amuria High School. A free kick. Our mark very shortly and uh, Nasono looking to score her fifth goal of the campaign. Trying to increase her tally. This is Nasono. Good strike. Who hits the woodwork and comes back into play. Very unlucky there for Nasono. Very, very unlucky. Kurut. Oh, she's been very unlucky today. Nasono. She's coming closer to a goal if she can't continue putting that kind of show. But throw here and for Pauline Anyakun. Will be another throw for Amuria. Fight continues. Aringo loses. It's collected here again by Rehema. To the wing side. Follow, follow. Well, they're pressing and pressing, and finally they get that ball away from danger. Wakiso trying to deliver long. And it's away by Olio Sylvia. She's done a lot of sweeping today, Olio. Mamo Diu doing well. Pauline. Long ball from Aringo straight up to the goalkeeper Yukoru. Babra Kui. Switching that ball forward now. This is good again. But the pressure keeps on piling up. The defense of Wakiso has been standing tall. Long ball forward, goalkeeper. Well, taking her time there, Adio. 
and receiving it and making it very quickly. Silvia Olio and give it away. Nega Patricia to the wing side. Tibasima loses possession. And that will be easily cropping away for uh, throwing now to Waki, sorry, to Amuria. As there will be a substitution. It's waiting to confirm on who will be coming off. And uh, it will be 18 coming out. And that uh, is Namatovu Sara, replaced by Nachintu. Well, Nachintu coming in to replace Namatovu. Who actually picked up a slight injury. And she wasn't very, very comfortable with her walk. Uh, that is uh, Namatovu. But the introduction of Nachintu will maybe try and propel the side. To see if they can take the balls forward. Try and open up on Nanyonjo. Tibasima and Sylvia Nachiwanda. Olio away. Let's it perfectly by Farida. Namudu. And collected calmly. Rehema dropping that ball forward, but straight up to the goalkeeper. Well, some clumsiness there. Goal scored here. Could have been an own goal. And Wakiso take the lead over Muria. Well, the celebration is there. Coming in from the Nachin 2 actually did come through. Well, you have to admit that uh, now Muria need to fight very hard to come back into this game. Well, this is there. Oh, very dear. It was an own goal. You just cannot believe this. Very unlucky. Sometimes you need not to be facing in that direction. Atilong Josephine puts the ball in her own net. She has been very, very outstanding in the entire campaign. But very unlucky right now that she puts the ball in her own net. And the side from Wakiso now leading this one by one goal to zero. It's actually a Jilong. On goal scored Wakiso leading. 1 0 it is. Scored by a Jilong. Ball in trying to fight. Naiga. Justin Birabwa. Looking for Tibasama. Now Muria trying to probe and probe, but they just cannot get things rolling their way. More pressure up. Ajilung doing well. Pressure still is a look short. Straight up to the goalkeeper, Dio. Flag is up for the offside. 
simple basics of the game. You have to be very careful when you're inside the box. Do not face towards the goal. And that's what resulted into an own goal here. Ajilong putting the ball in her own net. Pressure up. We'll be going out for corner. Corner for Muria. Nasono will be the one to deliver this. It's a good corner, but it's brushed away. Finally, Wakiso can actually try and redeem themselves. The ball deep. Kuru trying to attack. Flag remains down. Now here they come. Naiga. Long pass. Uncollected. The referee actually blows the whistle to hold this down. Well, the coach having a word with his captain, Akurut. Well, that's a goal scorer. You don't know, it's actually that's Leo Silvia. Farida now driving forward, kept on play here. Okiso not allowing any loose ball come their way. It's a long ball forward by Kongai. Another throw in. 22 minutes remaining before the referee brings this to an end. It's a lot of chessing here for the Amuria High School team. Unfortunately for Wakiso, they give the ball away for corner. Nami Rimu Farida put that ball away for corner. Corner. Rocky okay, Aringo for the corner. Setting it very big. And that ball just curled away from out to win. That will be a goal kick disappointing there. Throw coming up to Akiso. Brought in long by Namudu. And collected perfectly. To another long cross onto the wing side. All set away there by the Tolls defender, Sylvia Olio. Kui Barbara trying to get that ball forward. Fortunately, the ball just glides away for a throw in here. Fortunately for Amuria, they don't have uh, a Cole Manuela due to injury. Won't be available to come through. And they're actually very thin in squad. It's about only four players on the bench there for Amuria. So I'm very certain that most of these ladies will be able to play this entire match. Akuru is long. Collected calmly here for Amuria, looking for Nasono. It's Nasono again for the strike. Straight away to the goalkeeper, Ikoru. 
Namudi. Square pass again. Very good play here. One of the legs of Naika Patricia. And uh, uh, that is uh, a ring Rukia. He's brought down. And there'll be a yellow card here for Naiga Patricia. She's wondering with the referee why she deserved that yellow. It's a foul from behind Naiga. It's a very dangerous play. Still very young, you can see. That's a footballer currently in all levels. Representing Wakiso Hills SS perfectly well. Kurut Irene. Will be going very much long. Tries to draw that ball through, headed away, uncontrolled. Oh, that's very disappointing there from Nasono. It's confirmation of the yellow card to Naiga there. Just 18 minutes remaining to play for. Namudu. Right in front of the coach uh, who had his hands on the head. I think she'll be okay, Sylvia Nami Wanda, to continue to play. And uh, she'll remain down to avoid some bit of medical attention. Semi-finals will be played next week, and also the finals will be played next week. So basically, the Allied Women League will be coming to an end next week. It's away by Paulin. It's brushed forward to nobody in particular. Goalkeeper Aikoru. Oh, there's collision here. And uh, the opportunity was not uh, utilized very well there by Aringo Rukia. Had a chance to put that ball into the back of the net when the keeper was out. Just misdirected. This is Wakiso, but swept away by Akurut. Akurut again. Oh, the referee has blown the whistle. I think there is a, a player down. Well, uh, let me wonder, Sylvia, ever since the knock, has not been okay. Serious, she has to be substituted, I think, if uh, the condition does persist. To Amuria. Well, Kurut looking to go slightly long here. But she goes slightly short. It's a good ball through, but defended gallantly and uh, straight up to the goalkeeper Ikoru. This is a Ikoru. Hey. 
Still Adio. Kurut. Still 1 0 in favor of Wakiso and on goal by Atilong. A goal is the one that actually is separating the two sides. This is Namirumu Farida and she picks a free kick. Just about 14 minutes remaining to play for here. And a uh, foul from Akuru Tyrin, the captain. Well, Farida looking to organize to go very, very long here. Long from Farida. Brushed away there. Catherine. Justin. It's clipped away there by Akui Barbara. Throw here to Amuria. And uh, looks there will be a substitution right now. Let's wait to confirm on who comes out. I think it will be. Oh, it's a water break. Yeah, referee does call for the water break right now. So far, it is real, very, very much open. You can't say that. Uh, the side from Akis has actually gone on to win this one. 13 minutes to play. It takes a second to square goal and anything can still change the game. But this is the goal. Uh, very, disapp very disappointing. When you face your goal, that's exactly what happens. Here we go. Look at this net. Well, maybe you would expect she didn't think it will come her way. But you have to be very much alert when you're inside the box, really. Very much alert. She'll be very disappointed with herself there. Ajilong, the goal scorer of the young goal for Amuria High School. All sent in long, the goalkeeper Ikoru slightly low on her judgment of coming out to collect the ball. Ikoru is a good footballer, but uh, I think the judgment there of coming out to receive the ball, she's relying a lot on her defenders, Nagawa and Namirimo. Long ball through, brushed away inside the D, and the captain doing very well, Namirimo Farida. But it's not yet done. Amoria still hold possession. Trying to nick that ball through. Ooh, good hums from the goalkeeper. Very good goalkeeping. Aikoru. This is uh, Farida. Collected perfectly on the wing side. Sylvia Namiwanda. Faith Namudu. Mass all the way. Repossessed by Farida Namirimu, the captain. That was a good ball there from Nasono. And the goalkeeper. Very good jump. She actually timed her jump perfectly well. We have seen goalkeepers in this competition having a problem with the jump timing. By the time they actually come to the ground, the ball passes and uh, goal scored. Akuru here. It's a miscue there from her. Follow, follow, follow. 
Polinai Koru. Zaranya Kun rather. Rahema. Collected by Nasono. Nasono doing well. Nasono still in possession. Lays that ball through and the pass was not the best of those. And Farida doing well. Put this ball away for a throw in now to Amuria. Nine minutes remaining to play for. Maria continue to look for something here. It's a good cross. Swaps away for a goal kick. Throw coming up now to Faith Namudu. Trying to see if she can get that ball in very much long, Faith Namudu. Long throw, collected calmly, repossessed here by Amuria. But fails to clear. And now we are throwing now to... to oh, connect very well there with Aringo Rukia. Seems to be playing out of possession today, that is Aringo Rukia. Ball in away. Rehema. Away by Farida. Collected by Nasono. Nasono. Long from Pauline. Away perfectly by Nakawa. And Farida does well. Well, this game is just seven minutes away from coming to an end. Wakis will be very happy to make it to the semi finals. For Amuria, they'll be very disappointed to pack their bags early. It's a miscue that yields a goal kick here to Wakiso. Six minutes. Bouncing ball here. Going up, not very far. Is he a chance now? Collected perfectly in the D. Swept away. Rehema. Nasono. Straight to Ayukoru. So a little weak, weak ball there from Nasono. She's such a good footballer, Nasono. Spam needs to apply the energy. Throw to Amuria. Time running down. Five minutes on the clock remaining to play. On goal scored by Ajilong Josephine separating the two sides. And uh, Aikoru seems to be having a problem there. Nanyonjo. Again, Nanyonjo. Looking for Barbara. Baribawa, sorry. Goalkeeper delaying. Adio comes out first time and receives that. Oh, that's a very poor clearance from Adio. When well, you're chasing the game, <laughs> and you just run out of concentration and put that ball out. So she's apologetic. Well, trust me, Fakiso Hills won't be in a hurry to throw this ball forward. Throwing for Nyakun, being ordered to go back behind. Pauline. Sono. Sono. 
Nanyonjo beating a current. Nanyonjo again. Cross ball through. Dropping ball in the box straight to Odio. Oh, it looks like the footballers of Amuria are slightly tired. And uh, just failing to concentrate now in the game. Shima runes and Ajax Queens. That game is at midday. That's all no. Foul for Amuria. They are chasing. And they begin this very quickly. They're looking for that important goal. That's good skills there. Nice play. I just give it away. Pauline. This is possession. Akurut. And Sylvia Namiwanda is very much offside. We could be having a, another substitution here. It will be Jazz 8, Naika Patricia coming out. She's had a very, very good game here, Naika. So basically, the coach, Swale, is now going a little defensive. That's what he's doing right now. More defenders forward. See if he can consolidate that. Nasono. And Bo. Namali coming in for Naiga. It will be Anyakun Paulin trying to drop that ball forward. It's kept on play here by Amoria. And defended yet again here by Wakiso. Wakiso Hills doing everything in their power to hold on to this lead here. Will it be that after 90 minutes? Because Amuria seems to be on the attack now. The one two is not very bad, but it's accepted here by Wakiso Hills. Good play. Can they really utilize this move? If they can't, dropping ball to the wing. Akurut is there. Oh, the flag will be going up for the offside. Surely that is an offside. Nanyonjo overslept there, but the move was excellent. It's a very, very long ball looking to the goalkeeper Dio. Away by Adio. Bouncing ball forward looking for Aringo Rukia. Keeps the ball on play, but uh, stolen away by Namodu Faith. Faith here. And Pauline just fails to keep that ball on play. Throw now to Wakiso. They will take their time. You can see the disappointment off the face of uh, Anyakun Pauline. Oh, well, defended well there by Akurut. Two minutes of Namo time. It's been added, sorry, two minutes of added time, not Namo time, but two minutes of added time, sorry. So, try to venture forward here. Yeah. 
Well, by the way, Murray High School did top Group C with nine points in three games. And currently they are being eliminated from the competition right now. Well, still have a few over two seconds to play for if they can utilize it anyway. But I don't see that coming. Currently, Wakiso are doing more of the defensive work. And will be a throw for Namudu Faith. Rather, the captain, Namirimu Farida. 14 seconds away. It's a long ball from Pauli. Away by Nanyonjo. Now here comes another attack, but the flag is up for the offside. But no, the referee does blow the whistle to bring the game to an end. Wakiso Hills have just eliminated Amuria. And trust me, the Wakiso Hills Senior Secondary School will be very delighted with the show they have had today. But it took an own goal from Josephine Ajilong to send the ladies of Wakiso Hills to the next round, the semi-finals, and send Amuria High School ladies parking. For Amuria, they'll be very disappointed that they actually let this game slip away. But Wakiso, that goalkeeper in Aikoru Zulaika, has been very outstanding today, making sure that she handles the game perfectly well here today. So far, so good. Well, they gather up as a team, Wakiso Hills, and that's how it has actually come through to make sure that everything comes up for now. Let's actually go quickly for the break, then we come back with John Burns. But this game ends, Amuria High School nil, Wakiso won, and Amuria eliminated as Wakiso qualify for the semi-finals. Don't go away. Welcome back from the Fort Technical Center in Jiru. Where against all the odds, Wakiso Hills, a senior secondary school, is through to the semi finals at the expense of Amuria. Good morning, my name is John Banson. You're watching us live from the broadcast house in Kampala on UBC. Nile Avenue is where we are at, and it's FUFA Women Elite League that we bring to you. And that game has been electrifying. Of course, at times, uh, guys that are in sport, especially football, you will hear them say that I indeed. Uh, football is maracado. I don't know what that word means, maracado, but I'm certain now, evidenced on this, that it means football is very unpredictable. Josephine Atilong standing in the wrong position for Amuria and conceding an own goal that Wakiso will celebrate all the way to the semi finals. They will play the win of between Shimaruns and Ajax Queens that comes up at midday. Why don't we go to road? For road to, re road to redemption and when we get back we shall be have the football and i'm certain that game m is a must watch for any one of you please call a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that the football just gets started a final before the final shimaroons against ajax queens mid east african and enjoy the gospel by pastor sandra Bayingana. 